Hey, hello again. So today I'd like to compare side by side uh, two uh, generations of uh, e-mountain bikes. On the left, the 2016 uh, Trek Powerfly 7 Plus uh, fully suspended. And on the right, the Cube um, Stereo Hybrid 140 HPC SL 6 to 529. Both bikes uh, cost the same, 4,500 in 2016 and 4,500 in 2020. But as you can see, they are significantly different. Um, on the left, you have a metal frame. On the right, you have a forward uh, composite uh, frame. On the left, you have an external 500 watt hour battery from Bosch. On the right, you have an internally housed 625 watt hour power tube from Bosch as well. On the left, uh, you have 27 and a half inch wheels. On the right, 29. Uh, the uh, size uh, of the tire on, uh, uh, thickness changed from uh, 2.3 to 2.6 so there's a lot more volume inside the uh, tires of the new generation which uh, allow you to decrease the PSI from one to the other and have a more um, comfortable ride uh, tires that absorb the terrain better and have more grip up and down and in the mud especially on the left you have a normal seat post, on the right you have a dropper seat post, so extra equipment that allows you to have more control when you're going downhill, especially when it's quite steep. On the left you have a Shimano group set with 11 the speed cassette, XT um, equipment, and on the right it's also Shimano but now it's a 12 speed cassette, uh, 10 to 51 cogs. And, um, the forward sprocket on the left is a very small one which requires a multiplication of your um, cadence by 2.5 internally with the motor which creates extra drag. On the right the new uh, Bosch motor does not need that so it's uh, one by one pedal and uh, turn of the uh, forward sprocket ratio which there's uh, no internal drag once the uh, electricity uh, electrical assistance stops. Um, you have on the left 120 millimeters suspension travel from RockShox. On the right you have a 140 millimeter suspension travel, so it's uh, 20 millimeters more. On the left the, heads, uh, the head unit is an Intuvia, which is a, a black and white LCD display that uh, just displays information, does not record it, does not synchronize with your phone, it does not have Bluetooth. On the right you have the Kiox uh, color, uh, colored uh, display with um, uh, integrated Bluetooth which allows it to connect to, uh, to the cloud via your, your iPhone and the specific eBike Connect app which allows it to record your rides and uh, save them uh, in the cloud. The um, uh, brakes on the left are um, uh, the discs are a bit smaller than on the right and also the new brakes on the right have a four pistons in the front um, brakes. Um, so I think I went through all um, the significance of uh, these changes are that you have more range with the new bicycles because of the higher capacity and the lower drag of the new motors once the electricity uh, stops assisting you when you go over the 25 26 uh, limit speed. Um, you have more comfort because of the longer travel suspension and the larger tires that absorb more the terrain. You have a more control on the descent because you have a dropper seat post. You can record your rides, um, so you have a better integration of the functions of the bike and the transfer of that information to the cloud. Overall, in uh, four years, the industry has moved uh, quite significantly forward and um, these changes are very exciting for that reason. I got the new uh, generation e-bike. I'm using now the elder generation for uh, my uh, children and um, for my friends when they visit and uh, so we can uh, enjoy the rides uh, together. 
I hope this helped give you an idea and uh, yeah if you have any questions just uh, put it in the comments thanks